What's going on, everybody? It's your boy XO. You're now going to be tuning in to Experiencing God vlog series, where I'll be answering a couple questions dealing with experiences with God um, based upon the book by Henry Blackaby. And it's going to be also a mixtape that I'm going to be releasing sometime next year to be hosted by DJ Silver Rights. So I hope that it does bless people, um, changes our thoughts, um, changes our attitudes as far as how we look to God and really to just want to be a part of his activity and learning more about what he wants from us. Um, I had a question that was given to me. I'm not going to say the person's name, but I will address it. Um, and he said, how do I overcome um, people or being involved in witchcraft or Santera or voodoo and that's a good question and I want to just get right to the cut of it and just address it and use the Bible as the tool to be able to help you and to be able to help all of us because we all have these different um, situations or struggles that we're involved in but the power of the Holy Spirit will and it can deliver you from it if you confess what's going on you ask for his help and he'll help you with it you have to apply what the word is given to you and the Holy Spirit will work it out in you um, first let's look at Galatians chapter 5 um, verse 19 through 26 the next um, the next verse will be 2nd Corinthians 5 17 and then Romans 12 1 through 2 now you chose three because um, I want to make it lengthy, but I believe these three verses will really help you to understand um, things that you have to do and what we have to do as believers to be able to break the strongholds that the enemy has on our life. Um, really, it's not the enemy. Um, it's more of the flesh. Um, and I'll show what I mean by that in this uh, verse passage here in Galatians that Paul writes to the church in Galatia, and it's for us as Christians to take in as well. Um, starting in verse 19, it says, Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, and the word witchcraft, which is in verse 20. Um, skipping on down, um, mentions other words. Um, 21, he says, which I tell you before, as I've told you in times past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So you practice in these things, you continue to engage in these things. Um, Bible says that you shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Now, also in Corinthians, it says that such were some of you. Um, we know the Corinth church was a very carnal church, worldly church, but yet the people. Um, that Paul is speaking to like you were this way now you have been called and elected and predestined and chosen to be um, called into his marvelous light you put the old things away um, so right here he deals with the works of the flesh and says that they're contrary to the works of the, the fr fruit of the spirit um, the fruit of the spirit is mentioned in verse 22 through 23 and it says, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. And I would suggest that you really look up these words and see what they mean um, to be able to identify and um, ask the Holy Spirit to work these words within you so that you can bear fruit, much fruit. Um, next, 2 Corinthians 5.17. It says that, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. King, New King James Version. I got different translations. Um, but I mainly stick with the KJV, um, personal reason. Um, it says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. So one thing I would have to say is if you want to um, change things, you have to change the old ways, the old things that are 
that are part of you that uh, either you're attached to, things that you listen to, things that you watch, things that you hear, things that you um, get involved in because those can be ties that are part of your old nature that the Lord wants to get rid of and he wants to create you and transform you. Uh, we'll also see in Romans 12, 1 through 2, he says, And so, dear brothers and sisters, this is NLT, New Living Translation. It says, And so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all he has done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind he will find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship him. Um, don't copy the behavior and customs of this world so that deals with application right there don't copy don't mimic don't do um, as the heathens do those that are sinners and partake in the same customs the rituals that they do he says but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think how you do that by taking in the word renewing your mind then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. So maturity is gained when you take in the word, you apply it, you ask the Holy Spirit to continue to do the work in you. The strongholds will be broken. Um, is it easy to be honest with you? Uh, I can't really say that. It's hard, but I do know that uh, Matthew 6 uh, I believe 33 says that uh, come to me those who are heavy with their burdens for my yoke is easy and my burden is light so if you're doing things in your own will and I have a I have things where I do that sometimes I try to do things in my own will um, self-righteousness uh, you will slip you'll fall you'll make mistakes I tell you but if you trust the Lord, you ask him to do the work, and you just really take him at his word, he'll begin to work in you, and people will see the changes with you. So, three verses, once again, to really focus on Galatians 5, 19-26, 2 Corinthians 5, 17. I recommend reading 5, verse 11, through I think about verse 20. Um... And you could even read the whole chapter of 2 Corinthians 5. Also, Galatians chapter 5, read the whole chapter 2. And then you got Romans 12, 1 through 2. And keep in mind that you fulfill these things by doing one thing. Loving the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. And loving your neighbors. Key thing is loving your neighbors. Loving those who are your brothers and your sisters. Not only in the body of Christ, but people who are out in the world, because um, that is a true testimony. Um, when you love your enemies and you love those who despitefully use you and do wrong to you. So I hope that helped the person who watches this video, as well as other people that are dealing with things such as adultery, fornication, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, seditions, heresies, all those things that are mentioned in Galatians 5, 19, and then working on the fruit of the spirit love joy peace long suffering gentleness goodness faith meekness and temperance shalom how did you do exo peace